H bar holders, I keep telling you guys, keep focusing on what matters right now. Stop focusing on all of the nonsense noise in this space because every single day it is something new. Another big announcement, another big, you know, piece of the puzzle falling into place. And guys, in this video, if you hold H bar, this is going to be a very informative video that you need to watch through until the end. No, I'm not trying to sell you guys the used car. We are going to go over a ton of information. So with that being said, welcome to the channel, everyone. For those that are new to the channel, hopefully by the end of this video, you do become a subscriber. Let's dive on into token 2049 because we are getting closer and closer to the date officially, September 18th through the 19th, the largest crypto event in the world. Hedera is a proud sponsor. I'm very excited about this event. Like I said, it is one of the world's largest crypto events out there around crypto. 20,000 plus attendees, 7,000 plus companies, 300 plus speakers, 400 plus exhibitors, 70% sea level. Pretty crazy. And if we actually look at some of the images of this event, we just look at the event itself, look at some of the names behind it, guys. This is one of the largest events in the world. There's going to be some exciting news probably being announced around this. Probably going to see some great information being pushed by Hedera as well. And all of the other teams a part of this. I mean, just look at the names from the space. Look at the names from beyond this space and TradFi as well. I mean, I'm very, very excited about this event. Keep a close eye on it. Uh, definitely focus on the announcements after the fact and during as well, because I'm sure that there's going to be a lot. But with that in mind, let's talk about some very big news happening around the world, specifically in Australia. So if we go all the way back to January of 2021, that's when the puzzle pieces started to fall into place. And the announcement was Australia's national debit operator FBOS joins Hedera Governing Council and will run Aussie Hedera Network Node. Now we do know that FBOS has rebranded, which we will talk about in this video. But during this time, it was kind of like, all right, this is getting serious. Because again, at this time, we were already looking into Hedera. I didn't really have the YouTube channel at this time, but I was heavily in Hedera. I was looking around Hedera. I've been hearing good things. And this is what really got my attention um, on Hedera. This is what really kind of made me look into it and say, wow, this is becoming a big deal. We have a quote here from FPOS. We have, by joining the Hedera Governing Council and running the Australian node, alongside some of the world's largest and most influential companies, we are excited to participate in the development of next generation micropayments technology that has the potential to open up entirely new ways of conducting business for Australian enterprises and enable compelling new experiences for Australian consumers. For example, in a world of fast paced technology change, low cost micropayments to pay for internet content or tiny payments for devices to device transactions, the FPOS digital strategy was devised with an Australian focus, creating world-class innovations to compete with global payments players. The digital strategy was or has five key elements. Number one is mobile wallets, including Beamit, e-commerce, digital identity using Connect ID, fintech, ecosystem access, and national QR code payments rollout. Now, you might be saying, all right, well, Nick, this doesn't matter. This was 2021. You know, FPOS has rebranded, blah, 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 whatever. Well, the full focus here was digitizing the entire financial landscape around Australia through Hedera with FPOS. That was the whole goal here. And remember that during April of 2021, FPOS revealed their plans to power Australian smart cities with blockchain tech. Now, this was a little bit ahead of schedule because, you know, smart cities, they might be, you know, they might be on the rise right now. They might still be, you know, starting to become a reality, but they're not there yet. This is not, you know, a, a legit thing just yet. But during this time, they wanted to do this using Hedera. Australia's leading point of sale technology provider, FTPOS Australia, has revealed ambitious plans to roll out blockchain powered autonomous vehicles and smart cities in Australia built using Hedera's hashgraph. We have here, we're going to be looking at smart cities, we're going to be looking at autonomous vehicles and things that we haven't even thought about yet. All of this needs new infrastructure and FPOS needs to be informed by that. But the big part of this was Hedera. Hedera is the only 
next generation network that will support these kinds of use cases. So we wanted to test it and it has operated beautifully. Now, because we've got all this digital strategy, we are in a position where we can start looking at ways that, you know, problems can be solved in a way which is maybe non-traditional and more distributed. Now, like I said, you might be saying like, all right, well, this doesn't matter. This is 2021. This is old news. Well, remember that even today, Australia still wants to become a crypto hub. They want to become, you know, a massive powerhouse around crypto, just like every other nation. And even more recently, January 2024, this year, Australian Payments Plus, AP Plus is now a Hedera Council member. This was from FPOS, right? In 2022, Hedera Governing Council member. FPOS joined with BPay Group and NPP Australia to form Australian Payments Plus. As such, AP Plus is now a member of the Hedera Governing Council, effective immediately. AP Plus has over 150 partner institutions and processed 3.9 billion transactions in 2022. Again, they are a big player around Australian domestic banks, international banks as well, and much more. We have operating in the public interest, AP Plus is a member-owned organization with a diverse range of members, including Australia's domestic banks, international banks operating in Australia, some of the country's largest merchants, payment service providers, and payment processors, together with a range of challenger and disruptor brands focused on specific markets and products. And we also have WorldPay from FIS, had joined Australia's domestic debit network, FPOS, as a member as well. I mean, like, they have been expanding rapidly. And the quote here to end this was, with distributed ledgers, payments organizations like AP Plus can benefit from increased transparency, enhanced security, and improved efficiency in transaction processing. AP Plus has several initiatives underway to ride the wave of innovation with Hedera, unleashing the full potential of DLT to transform our organization. They're, in fact, also transforming Australia as well because they are one of the biggest giants behind Australia's financial markets. But also, even more recently, April 3rd of this year, Hedera joined and is now a member of Blockchain Australia, the Digital Economy Council of Australia. They're an open source leaderless POS uh, network with a robust ecosystem built by a global community and governed by a diverse council of industry leading organizations. Now, this is a major player around Australia as well in terms of blockchain and crypto. But building on top of this, if we go a little bit back in 2023, remember that not centralized was one of the few players selected to join the Reserve Bank of Australia Central Bank Digital Currency Initiative. And even more delighted that they have chosen to build on Hedera. If you guys do remember that um, video from like the end of December of 2023, we have major banks like RBA Info require an institutional grade network from the perspective of both tech and governance. That's why Not Centralized piloted its CBDC solution for Australia Central Bank on Hedera. Check this out. The ability to do this and to program the money to program this collateral with tokenization uh, and uh, in the stablecoin form that it is, that's the big unlock that we see is really interesting. And then you add that layer of CBDC underneath with proof of reserves from a, a central bank issued digital currency. It's quite a powerful solution. The and this is all through Hedera. But why am I talking about all this? Well, it's because of this big announcement that we just got, which was big news. Australian digital dollar is launching on the Hedera network in partnership with the HBR Foundation with Hedera's high speed, low cost, and energy efficient platform. AUDD is set to revolutionize digital payments. And if we check out over the oh, over here, remember this is happening, you know, right around the same time that MTech is getting a massive investment from a center, which we talked about. This is huge. It's going to accelerate the transformation of traditional finance and central banking services for the emerging digital economy. Like this is still alive and well. All of this is still alive and well today. Australia is a big area. Hedera has been taking over and becoming a massive name in a lot of these areas, Australia specifically. But also just to kind of build upon all of this, if we go and look at the full breakdown from the HBR Foundation, we have, we're excited to see that the AUDD from AUDC is leveraging the Hedera network to launch AUDD, the premier Australian digital dollar stablecoin as a Hedera token service token. We greatly look forward to working with AUDC to improve the efficiency 
transparency, and accessibility of financial transactions domestically and internationally, specifically for cross-border payments and digital asset marketplaces. And if we go over here to the full-on announcement, we have AUDC, the company behind the Australian digital dollar, is proud to announce a strategic partnership with the HBAR Foundation to launch AUDD as a Hedera token service token on the Hedera network. This partnership marks a significant milestone for AUDD to be a leading digital asset, meeting the fast-growing demands of the global digital economy. Enhancing digital finance on the Hedera network, the integration of AUDD onto the Hedera network brings with it the benefits of the Hedera network's cutting-edge technology, which is known for its high throughput, low latency, and energy efficiency. The Hedera network stands out for its ability to handle thousands of transactions per second with finality times of less than a second, making it an ideal platform for real-time financial applications. These capabilities ensure that the AUDD stablecoin can offer businesses and consumers faster, more efficient, and more secure digital transactions. And we have a quote down here, launching the AUDD stablecoin on the Hedera network is a transformative step in our journey to revolutionize digital payments. The unparalleled speed and security of the Hedera network align perfectly with our goal to provide a stable and scalable solution for the digital economy. This partnership with the HBAR Foundation will enable us to extend the AUDD stablecoin's utility, offering real-time, low-cost transactions that meet the demands of modern financial systems. Down here, expanding the AUDD stablecoin's reach in the global digital economy. The launch of the stablecoin on the Hedera network ensures that the stablecoin strategy continues to extend its versatility and accessibility through multiple platforms. By leveraging Hedera's robust infrastructure, the utility will grow strongly, particularly in sectors requiring rapid, secure, and low-cost digital transactions. This partnership is expected to drive significant adoption of the stablecoin both within Australia and globally particularly in industries such as international remittances, escrow services, and real-time payment settlements. The network's ability to process high volumes of transactions at low cost will be crucial in supporting the growing demand for the stablecoin as a stable and reliable digital currency. The launch of a Hedera native Australian digital dollar stablecoin will support the growth of Hedera's growing payment ecosystem from facilitating cross-border payments to global client onboarding onto digital asset marketplaces on the network. With Australia being a major exporter of agricultural and industrial commodities, as well as a home to a sizable domestic uh, payments market, a Hedera native Australian digital dollar has a strategic role to play in APAC and beyond. Like I said, it's building upon the fact that Hedera has been a massive leader in Australia. And I still think that this is a part of the full goal to make Australia fully digital, embrace DLT for what it is doing. And I do think that this has ties back to 2021. I think all of this has become a reality. I think that a lot of it's becoming a reality. You know, if we go all the way back to 2021 to now, I mean, this space is night and day. Hedera is night and day. I mean, Hedera is coming up on almost 360,000 followers. Guys, I think that when we found Hedera, I think that they had less than 100,000 followers at the time. So we have witnessed this space grow substantially. We have witnessed Hedera become a leading player in this space. We have watched this space morph so much over the time that, you know, we, we start to talk about some of these projects and really kind of do research on some of these projects. I mean, what we see in this space now today, it's wild versus what we were seeing back in 2021. And I do think that this is only going to get even crazier and crazier as time goes on. I think that Hedera is going to become much bigger. I think that, you know, a lot of people are going to be surprised by what happens over the course of the next couple of years. I really think that everything around us, everything when it comes to finance, when it comes to, you know, payments, in, in, you know, just in general, everything is going to change. Gaming as well. Everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis is going to change. And projects like Hedera are going to be at the forefront of that change. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to the notifications on because more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. And with that being said, I hope that you guys all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are out there in the beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out.